Bank United, a private equity-backed Florida lender, filed to sell $300 million in shares in an IPO. It plans to use the money to expand its operations. With more on the story, we are joined right now on the phone by the person who broke the story, our own Christina Aleshi. Christina, thank you so much for joining us on this. The, the first question we have to ask you is why? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Deirdre. Well, these uh, this has been in the works for a while, as we know. Um, the the reason is is pretty clear cut. The bank really wants to expand and take advantage of the fact that a lot of uh, lenders in the southeast need capital, and they feel like they can come in and basically. Um, do a consolidation play and, and scoop up lenders that are really in need of that capital in order to grow. And, you know, the, the other thing in this document that is, uh, that is notable is that it says that, you know, there, there are expansion efforts in the southeast as well as in New York. Now, the CEO, John Canis of Bank United, um, does have strong roots in New York. So he's really looking to capitalize on those relationships with banking executives and with regulators in New York in order to either open De Nova branches here in New York or to, to, to do the same thing that they're planning to do in the Southeast and take advantage of that. I mean, Christina, yes, we, we only have about 30 seconds left, and I want to make sure I get this question in. We had heard $500 million. It seems now it's $300 million. Is it because of weakness in the market that the size has changed? Look, uh, you know, I, I was talking to a couple of people about this this morning, and it just seems like they are trying to be as conservative as possible. Um, you know, perhaps their advisors you know, suggested that $300 million was a more feasible figure, and if they can, you know, hopefully raise the 500, that would be uh, that would be total upside. The other thing is that, that you know, it's going to take a while for the SEC to turn around comments. So, you know, the SEC has about three weeks okay. uh, to review this and, and turn it around. So, okay. you know, market conditions could change by that by that point. 